Hey guys, it's Freddie here from Draft Nights. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? If so, Anchor is the easiest way to do so. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast either on your phone or your computer. Anchor allows you to distribute your podcast all over social media, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. You can make money off your podcast with no minimum listenership. So it has everything you need to get started. If you want to join the podcast family, all you have to do is download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. See you soon. And welcome to the show, everybody. My name's Freddie. We're joining me right now is uh, my friend, Michael. And welcome to Draft Nights, everyone. How are you doing? Hey, what's Mike? up, man? Awesome, awesome. So, Mike, hey. you sound like you're super close to the mic right now. I'm also super tired, man. Let's get it going. <laughs> all right, so welcome to Draft Nights, everybody. You're home for where you can get all your news for uh, football and basketball, and where you can get the all in, all in the insights, know the play-by-plays, and when, when what happened, and make you more informed about what's going on in the world of sports. <clears throat> so today's topics will be, one, what happened in the Super Bowl. Two, where should Tom Brady go? Is he staying in New England, or is he going to go to a different team? Um, three, we're gonna talk about the NBA. What teams doing great right now? Which which teams do we think is coming out of the East and the West? And four, all the trades that's been happening in the NBA. So without further ado, let's go into Super Bowl. All right, now Mike, what did you think about the Super Bowl this year? Where it was the San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes and Jimmy G as quarterbacks. Man, it was exciting. It's exciting. It was exciting. Uh, heart racer because, uh, you know, I was going for Patrick Mahomes. So watching him struggle throughout the first three quarters was pretty tough, man. Right. Patrick Mahomes came out, came into the game with the most uh, prolific offense. I mean, they could score at any time they wanted. And the San Francisco 49ers came in with the best defense in the league. They were ranked number two in all the NFL. And um, <clears throat> so it was really about, you know, uh, 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 was the defense going to win? Or was Patrick Mahomes going to out um, uh, 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 ball out and prove that even with a great defense, you can't stop me? And the score ended up being... San Francisco 49ers 20 to Kansas City Chiefs 31. Yeah, and if you came in at halftime, you would think San Francisco 49ers, hey, they were taking this all the way. Right, because they had a really balanced team. They was doing very well in the run game and also very well in the passing game. Um, Jimmy G was doing a lot of... um, how you say play action because um their running game was doing really really good up to that point even though the um score was really low the um 49ers definitely played a well balanced run game and passing game um do you agree with that my mike no definitely definitely i mean um they would he definitely did a better better job with the with the uh, play action because of the run but I personally think that the the Kansas City should have tried to put more pressure on him. You know, he he was sacked only one time, pressured nine times. Like I think they could have did a better job at, at getting more attack, more more pressure on him. I would say coming into the game, uh, San Francisco 49ers, they had a what just a way better defense than than the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Kansas City Chiefs was ranked like 29th in the whole league. I guess the right. run that is no, not twenty nine, twenty six. I'm sorry, twenty six. Right, that is very bad. I mean, if if we was playing, it's Madden, almost, it was I, almost dead last. Yeah. Right, if we was playing, and you I, would think you would think that'd be your uh, mo. Like I'm going to this game, I'm gonna run it all over them. They suck. Just keep running it and running it and running it. 
But check yeah. this out. So the first three quarters of the game, um, it was about pretty even, right? The first quarter, right. Well, uh huh. The first quarter, um, the score was even though Kansas City got the ball first, uh, the score was three to seven. Um, was uh, San Francisco, San Francisco scored three points and Kansas City Chiefs scored seven, a touchdown. And then right, Patrick Mahomes ran it for a one yard touchdown. Yep, that was an uh, incredible run because it was a um, it was gonna be like a toss, right? But he like uh, what was it? Uh, um, wildcat. It was a wildcat where the right. um quarterback has the option of you know tossing it to the side of him if the defense right. goes up to him. But um, that didn't happen. Um. <laughs> The Patrick yeah, he, just he, like, he gave the guy no opportunity. He he just yeah. kept he kept it wiggling him, kept wigging him, we kept him having him going back and forth. Should I go chase the running back? Should I chase him? Should I chase the running back? You know, he did a great job, man. He uh, literally confused that wildcat offense, man. Yeah, he literally confused the offensive, um, the defensive player. He was like to the point the defensive player couldn't couldn't do anything. He was just like, I gotta let the. Yeah, that's right, man. Oh. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Lost connection for a sec- quick second, but we're good. Okay, so um, then um, <clears throat> the second round, it just pretty much flipped over. Um, yeah, the second quarter, it was seven to three. Right. It started the happened. second quarter, seven and three. Mm-hmm. But then, uh, right off the gate, you know, Kansas City, they, they, they score another field goal, and it's looking like a pretty good game, you know. You know, everybody's looking good, but then <clears throat> they score a touchdown. Jim, Jimmy Garoppolo down to his man, Kyle. I can't pronounce his last name. Just, just six, just six, just six, just six. But, uh, yeah, the 15 yard touchdown pass to just six. <laughs> Kyle Jossick said, yeah, so uh, they tied the game up 10 times with that. Right. And then, um, give me a second. Right, going into the third quarter. Uh, Robbie hear? Gold, another field goal for the 49ers. Mm-hmm. Robbie Gold, tried and true. That guy's got to be like at least 45 years old. At least. That guy's <laughs> super. He's been in the league forever. Robbie Gold. Oh, man. Yeah. And then we got another one yard rush. You know, I don't understand how. how... Uh, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead D- don't understand what. I don't want. I just don't want to get too passionate because, you know, I get to start cussing once I get too passionate. <laughs> so are we um what are you talking about the third quarter now dude what's going on man you there can you hear me yeah man what's going on oh no my um my headset it turned off and I had to freaking turn it back on so I was like oh, I, I got not. yeah I got back in when um you said something about the Robbie Gold he's like Really good. Yeah, no, I yeah, no, I just didn't want to get too passionate about the rushing um <laughs> for the 49ers. Just cause, you know, it's never mind. Never mind. I don't want to talk about Kyle Shanahan. I don't want to get too passionate because I start cussing. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So then we get to the third quarter. And now the third quarter, uh San Francisco pretty much took over, man. I mean, they they went um ten, they scored ten to zero. Um, and I mean, still at this point, I didn't feel as though Patrick Mahomes like uh lost, like he wasn't out of the game yet. You know, even though he, I, I did, and I did, because they, 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 I mean, they hadn't scored since early in the second quarter. Like, you know what I mean? It's been now almost. Uh, there's been like almost two quarters of no scoring. That is true. They didn't. They only scored in the first quarter. They didn't score in the second or third. Right. So it's like that is know, surprising. They, they, no, they they scored a field goal in the second quarter, but it was very early, almost almost ten minutes in the second quarter. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes tried to throw a pass to um to Hill, and they actually got intercepted because he threw it behind Tyreek Hill, 
and right. it just bobbled up and it was um warner caught the ball and it was uh 45 yards for three yeah man that's up but with yeah, all that, that, that and, yeah oh that's and, really <laughs> And then what sucked is that uh, what sucked is that the Kansas, I mean the San Francisco 49ers, they then scored off that um in uh, off that interception. And then when Patrick Mahomes got the ball back again, he threw another interception. Right. Right. Like, but, but you still see that they're but they're they're not using any clock. Like they're not they're not using any clock in the in the in the second half of the game. They're just they're just they won't run the ball. They're just wasting. I don't, I don't get it. They're not wasting any clock. Who's not wasting any clock? I'm sorry, the San Francisco 49ers. After the second quarter, man, they just it's, they just stop wasting. They stop running the ball. They stop wasting time. Like they just. I don't get it. Why wouldn't you run the ball? Kill clock. It's, it's just made no sense. The game plan was terrible. That is definitely true because right after that interception, um, again from Patrick Mahomes, his second interception, uh, San Francisco um, did, got the ball back to six, six plays to make another touchdown. Yep. And... Um, well, I don't know. And to punt, down. and then they went. They get the ball back. San Francisco gets the ball back, and then they punt again. All right. Only consuming three. I mean, at least right there, they consumed three minutes off the clock. So I, I guess that wasn't as bad, but it's right. still, it's, it's it's still terrible. Right. So after that, right, the score was twenty to ten. Uh, I don't know what was going on with San Francisco. I mean, all I, all all that happened in the fourth quarter was. Patrick Mahomes is just like, listen, today you guys shall not take this away from me. <laughs> and he scored, and the Kansas City Chiefs went on to score 21 points in the fourth quarter. Well, what happened was Tyreek Hill, man. Tyreek Hill just he just went off. You know, he had he had a, a 38 uh, at the 38 yard line. He had a catch, you know, clutch, clutch, just to get him that first down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now he's out the first down in the fourth quarter. They just moving the ball now. It's just like all things working. All cylinders go. All right, go. Now what? What is? It was insane. What's insane, right? So check this out. So Patrick Mahomes comes off of two back to back interceptions, right? And then mm-hmm. he makes a touchdown. He makes a touchdown in the fourth with six minutes and thirteen seconds left and then the, then the San Francisco, San Francisco get the ball back and they only do three plays gain only five yards and only have the ball for one minute and three seconds exactly they went and they ran the ball one time one time and you know they got five yards Five yards, you ran the ball one time, you got five yards. Why not run it again? Hello? Let's get a yeah. first down. Let's see if we can get one. How about one first down? Oh, the, the running game definitely seemed to be working. But, but I do want to mention that 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 the touch uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That the play before really um the touchdown before that 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 even um brung them to, to, to seventeen to twenty. That that really yeah. came from from um, Travis Kelsey, man. He got a defensive uh, pass interference uh, play called against him. Well, called on him, not called against him. Someone, some yeah. <laughs> defensive player ended up committing a pass interference on him, and it, it really saved. It, yes, it really saved. The, it really saved them. Twenty yards. They were right in there. One uh, one yard rush yard for out. Uh, one yard yeah. rush for for Travis Kelsey. You know, and then that was their touchdown. And now they're down three points. And, you know, the, everyone, the whole place, everyone probably around the world <laughs> just were up in their seats now. Just yeah, excited, like Patrick Mahomes, after that, yeah, after that, um, 
after that pass interference call by Moore on Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes did throw a, a short pass to Travis Kelsey for like one yard. He was just pretty, pretty much in the back of the end zone, just uh, uh, just running the same direction that Patrick Mahomes was, which basically was to the right. He caught the ball. He was like, "All right, let's go." So that made the made the game uh, twenty to seventeen, but. Everybody thought at that point, because there was only six minutes and 13 seconds left. Everybody thought, since the running game was going real well, that that's they, that that uh, San Francisco was just going to keep running the ball to, to you know, waste the clock. And they only, <laughs> they only did three plays for five yards for a minute and three seconds. Right. And then, and then you know, being down three points... You know, you giving them the ball back with plenty of time. You know, they still, they still had. I'm sorry, they still had like six minutes with the clock. I mean, with the ball. I'm sorry, five minutes with the ball. It's that's plenty of time. Plenty of time for Patrick Mahomes to go down there and score a game-winning touchdown on you. I don't what understand. Who else? Who else in the NFL could you give five minutes and he scores? Twice. Matter of fact, he scores. Hold on, that's it. He scores three times. He scores three times. Hold on, he scores. There's a lot of people at, out there that say they say, say at eight minutes. Patrick Mahomes overrated. He's got Who such a great team. Overrated. Who? There's a lot of people that say that man. He's he's that's got such a great team that it, you know they say if if Tom Brady had a better team like that that he'd be doing the same things. I don't. I uh, yo. Listen, aren't you a Patriots fan? What are you talking I, about? I am a Patriots fan. But here's the thing. All right. So here's the thing. I, I'm an objective Patriots fan. But here's the thing. How do you stop? There's always a way to stop a quarterback, right? There's always a way. Everybody has a kryptonite, okay? No. What's Tom Brady's kryptonite? Tom Brady's kryptonite? I don't know. What Tom is his kryptonite? kryptonite? Tom Brady's kryptonite is all the time. If you no, if you make him run or get off of his spot, right? He, if you make him dance, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's easier said than done, though. What are you talking about? The Patriots don't have a great offensive line, right? But he's always been so quick at getting the ball out that you know you don't really. Yeah, nobody got no separation. That's why they got bounced out in the first round of the playoffs, even though they went 12 and 4. Right, which will prove in my point. Because then, if he were to be on Kansas City, he would have Travis Kelsey, and and, and no one gets more separation than Travis, uh, than Tyreek Hill. But Patrick Mahomes was getting hit, man. He got like how many sacks? Right. He which got, I he would got, not. Just, now, 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 I know this is a question you'll never be able to answer, but Tom right. Brady, would Tom Brady be able to get the ball out cracker, quicker? Would he be I able to see the I don't think. I don't, the reads? To be honest. Did I just call Tom Brady a cracker? That was an accident. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> just slipped out. No, we got it out. We got it out. But um, <laughs> I don't think. Put, write that down. Put seventeen seconds and thirty. Seventeen thirty. But anyway, um, as clutch as Tom Brady is, I'm not a hundred percent sure he could he could have done what what Patrick Mahomes just did. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Now, is it possible? I I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm about eighty percent sure Tom Brady couldn't do that. Eighty percent. Not a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. But, um, yeah, I mean, but then, is it possible? You know, after, after, that after that last touchdown, after that last touchdown to, 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 to make it 24 20, uh, it, it was pretty much over for, for San Fran. They, they got good yeah. defense, but not a great offense. And once you put them down like that, Kansas City, um, Kansas City, do you think um, it's the offense? Or DBs are pretty good. Do you think it's what's that? Do you think it's um do you think it was more of the offense or do you think it was because of Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, Jimmy did miss that one pass 
He was, missed a couple passes, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it was that one pass that would have won him the game uh, close to the end of the game that, you know, if he just made that play, you know, there would have been a lot of things different. Um, Jim Caroppolo did an incomplete pass and one minute and 40 seconds to Emmanuel Sanders. And then there was another incomplete pass and one minute and 44 seconds to uh, Bourne. So, right there, if, if he makes either of those passes right there, you know, they, they, if they go from being, being down four points to being up three points and then you give yeah I mean what? yeah to being up three points and then you give the ball back to them and now it's, it's game over you know Patrick Mahomes another touchdown and yeah at this point with them now. yeah at this point yeah 24 to 27 um they uh San Francisco needed a touchdown to get back in the game because they weren't going to score. They wasn't going to get nowhere with uh, just a, a, a go goal. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and when defensive players know they that you got to pass the ball, they line up coming in so hard for that quarterback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This game was absolutely crazy, man. I mean, historical. Oh, this, I mean... But uh, you, you know, speaking about his... Tom Brady, though, what do you okay. think Tom Brady's going? Oh man! All right. So here's the thing. I what might be one of those. Go? I might be one of those. I really might be one of those uh, Patriots fans that would not be mad at him if he decides not to come back to New England. I mean, it makes all the okay. sense of the world right now for him okay. not to come back because who will you want him to come back? You know what I'm saying? Who, but who, who's gonna, who's gonna be around them? You know, who's gonna be his supporting cast? His supporting cast right. last year wasn't great at all. Thank you, Antonio yeah. Brown. And also, um, no, Antonio Brown got so many issues. This guy needs to <laughs> life together before he even so come near, come near our freaking squad again. Anyway, but I mean. It depends who they get on the in, in the um you know free agency because I gotta tell you man like if you don't well all right if they do if 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 the Patriots are able to get AJ Green from the Bengals who is a free agent this year and Olsen the tight end from the Panthers then I think Tom Brady should come back to New England because I think you could win with those two uh, uh, weapons on his side of the field. I don't know, man. I think Bill Belichick, if he has any say in this, he'd probably want to go a different way. All right, but who's going to go and a different think... way with? Who's going to be the quarterback? You can go different ways with a lot of guys, man. This uh, Drew, Drew Brees is still out there. Drew Brees is not going to come to New England. I mean, he's still out there. Uh, listen, why would you leave it's the championship? Saints? It's a championship per- predicate. Why would you? Why would you leave the Saints? They they dropped him. He's a free agent. I want to say they dropped him. Nah, I wouldn't say they dropped him, but they didn't. They didn't resign him, and you know that, that's pretty much it for his career over at, with the Saints, man. Patriots gonna, uh, move on with uh, what's that dude? T Hill. Uh, I forgot his first name. But they can yeah. move on with that, that 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 running back slash wide receiver quarterback uh, guy. I forgot his first his first name, but it's T something T Hill. He's a quarterback, utility wide receiver, running back kind of guy. The Saints are. Let's see. I know they got a good backup, Teddy Bridgewater, or Tyson. Yeah, not moving. Tyson Hill. Yep. Tyson Hill. Yep. That's who they're moving think, on with. You think they're going to move on with him? That's what they're saying. Apparently, there's rumors that that's who they're running, that's who they're going to go with. Because, you know, last year they tried running with, uh, with, uh, what's his name? You just said it. They tried running with him and he, he's, he's good. But Teddy he's not. Potter? Teddy, yeah, Teddy Potter, but he's just not, you know, they just want to see what, he, what this dude got. 
They think he's a pretty good um, fit. From maybe they want a wild or run some wildcat. I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know, that's, man. That's where they're going. That's where they're going. Okay. I mean, I mean that would be that's interesting. What it looks like. Yeah. I mean, me personally, I, I I would like to see Tom in in California, man. That's where he's from. You know what I mean? That's where he, that's who, where he who you from. think he's he from? Like, in California. He play, he's your play for the Chargers, man. Do you see your team, that team? The they're giving up Philip Rivers. Yeah, they they done they done with Philip Rivers. That's he's true. He's a free agent too. But so, me, I see him going to the Chargers and just settling in there, man. That dude Bozit, man. Every time I play, every time I play Madden, Bozit in the Chargers, it's it's he's terrible, man. He's a monster. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. He should not go to the Chargers. He should not go to the Chargers. Cause guess who's up? Right, who's right. in the division? Who? The Kansas City Chiefs. So what? No. And he'd be bad. No. Then no. He, why? 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 No. why? No. Then you really see who's the best. No. 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 What you mean? No. I don't want to see. That's, you sound scared. Andre. You sound scared. I'm 100% you sound scared. scared for him. I am 100% huh? scared for him. No. No. That's, Do not that's, go that's to terrible, division. man. Do not go to that's the division terrible. with the, with the rising phenom. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes. It's the Chargers and the division is AFC West, the Chargers, Kansas City, Raiders, and Denver. No. 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 Do not go into the division with Patrick Mahomes. No. That's his division. No. 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 Why you yo, you know what? You're doing you're only saying this. You're only saying this because you hate Tom Brady. That's why. I don't, hate, That's I don't hate Tom Brady. Yes, you do, man. You. I hate the hype around it, and I and then I want Tom, and then I want Bill uh-huh. Belichick to go and get, and then I want Bill Belichick to go and get Drew Brees, and win a championship. Wow. Well, who? Well, who? Who is gonna win a championship with? Yo, you never know, man. He'll go and call Bill Belichick. Tell him he'll actually Bill pay him Belichick. this time. If 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 Bill Belichick pays. Drew I'm looking at the free agencies. Like you said, they got AJ. If AJ Green is out there. Bill Belichick decides to pay Drew Brees more than he ever paid Tom Brady. I think he'll do it just a stick at a time, like a real yeah, good one. Oh because he gosh. wanted he wanted Garoppolo. He won Garoppolo and Tom went behind his back to Kraft and asked and asked him to get him out of here. As he should. As he should, and then what? What? And then what? Bill Belichick's spiteful butt did. Instead of taking the best deal for Jimmy Garoppolo, he took the worst deal, sabotaging. Yep. Him. How you gonna do that type yep. of deal? Was like what? Uh, just a second round pick? How you gonna? They was willing to give like two first rounders for him. Because if y'all don't care, then we don't care. That's it. We're gonna ruin the team. We're gonna suck. You don't. Then we're gonna that. suck. Why, why, why would you do nah. that? You don't do that if you're a coach or a GM. Yeah, because if I'm telling you I got a great quarterback here, why are we gonna risk it and not get a good quarterback and still and be medium medium tier? If we're gonna suck, let's just suck all the way. Should have at least should have got. Reprimanded for that by the owner, or that is a fireable offense. Man, what he's he hating. What do you mean I'm hating? Hate. What do you mean I'm hating? That is a fireable offense. If you could get more than what was offered and you knew it, that is a fireable offense. <laughs> that is a fire. Know, what are you talking about? If you can get more than what was offered and you knew it, yeah, it, it, we didn't. Know, he didn't know it. He didn't right? know. It. That's not he a fire didn't know it, bro. That's Bill. Be- hey, you better you better tread lightly. All right, that's crazy. Talking about Bill Belichick that's here. Crazy. All right, brother. That's crazy. Bro. You hear me? Yeah. All right. Talking about Bill Belichick here, bro. The only success Bill Belichick ever lightly. had in his life was be- was with Tom Brady. That's it. Where? That's it. That is the truth. That is the truth. And the only th- and the only success that Tom Brady ever had was with Bill Belichick. Right, you're right. 
You're 100% right. Right. You're 100% right. right. And I, I, all I know is that I've seen them go and win plenty of games without Tom Brady. Did you did you see him when the whole thing? I'm pretty Tom sure Brady? the year that the year the year that they didn't have Tom Brady, they uh-huh. went twelve and four. They went twelve and four and with Mac with, with Mac Castle. Castle. They did he take you all the way to to Bowl now? Did he win? I'm just maybe asking. not, but still. All right, what, maybe not, right. but still, you give him another year. To, when he when they got to the when they got to the playoffs, then like when did they get bounced out? Somebody got bounced out too. He don't win every time. Listen, listen, listen. Not, let's switch motors. Let's switch gears. I'm done. No. I'm done with this time, baby. Time. Let's let's I'm done let's, with this time, baby. Time. No, no, no. You brought this up. So, what about if he goes to? I mean, this would be nuts. This would be nuts. What if he went to Cowboys? What do you think about that? They already got their quarterback. Um. What's his name? Dak Prescott. Yeah, they got that. Well, they haven't paid him his contract, so that, that's a kind of interesting situation. They have. They haven't paid him yet. They're thinking about franchise tagging him. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. If they believe nah, that Tom Brady, they, they think they should just pick up Tom Brady. Should, I mean, I would. That Tom Brady, that Dak Prescott is a young man, though. So Tom Brady is old, bro. He's a young man, but took but took his team eight and eight. And that weak ass yeah, division eight. with the Giants, eight and eight with a rape with a terrible Ravens freaking and and Eagles with a terrible freaking head coach. Dude was garbage. He's twenty six years old. Man. Head coach doesn't play. Nah, he don't play, but he calls the plays. Head coach doesn't play. Man, listen. All you, I know is you think Tom, Tom Brady, Brady. Hold on. If you put Tom Brady on that team, you think they want? No, nah, they'll be better. He didn't win no, they'll team. probably be better. He did pretty good though. Pretty good. What would you say? Pretty good. He th- Tom Brady would not take that team a and a. They'll get to the playoffs, bro. At a minimum. At a minimum. Tom Brady's on your team. You get to the playoffs. Except if you go to the Chargers, yeah. and have to play Patrick Mahomes twice. Not happening. No, no. What if, what if he goes to? So that's the destination. That would be a crazy. Imagine Jimmy Jones with Tom Brady and the freaking Cowboys as the Cowboy. That would be insanity for the league. I mean, your know, Cowboys nation, which is huge already. There will be school. I don't think they. They will be doing a parade as soon as, he, as soon as he gets there. Be like, we win the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you need. I don't really don't think you need that. I think you need better, better coordination of your offenses. The Dallas Cowboys. They they have the number one offensive. Uh, the number one offense. Did they? I thought it was uh, Lamar Jackson. No. The, the Dallas Cowboys have the number one offense in the league. You looking at it up right now? You see that? Mm-hmm. And where was Lamar Jackson? Because he was MVP this year. In that, the Ravens. Huh? That Prescott is leading the league in passing yards. He's only leading yeah. the lead. He's only leading the league in passing yards because he's always down by the fourth quarter, man. Come on. It was all the yak yards. That's all it is. All yak yards and all yeah. and all um garbage time yards. So all- yak yards. At one point, listen, at one point uh, he was that Prescott was on pace for five thousand one hundred passing yards. Five, because uh, 5, in garbage time. Yeah. Because in garbage time. He went eight and eight. How you go eight and eight and have the most yards in the fucking hole? Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, dude, because you got bad a bad offensive coordinator calling oh, shitty fucking All right, so you have a bad offensive coordinator, yet you have the most yards in the whole league. Things happen, man. You gotta you gotta call plays on your own. You gotta make moves. This is sometimes the same. you gotta shake and bake. Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta shake and bake and make plays. This is the saying: two things could be true at the same time. <laughs> Something could be cold and hot at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. 
No. Maybe. All right, man. Let's talk about let's talk about what basketball, if, man. Let's just face. Maybe what if he goes to what if he goes to the 49ers? What do you think about that? Replaces Jimmy G. How much would Jimmy G hate Tom Brady if he decides to go to the 49ers? <laughs> Well, that wouldn't be possible, so I'm not dealing with no it's impossible. <laughs> no, he Jimmy G has a con- uh, guaranteed contract of after this year. Millions of dollars. No, it's over no, this year. Has, it's over this. It's over this. If he, no, it's not. Yes, he it more, is. He has more guarantees. If he, if the 49 decide to cut bait with him, because this is his third year there, if Jimmy G decides to cut bait with him, I mean the 49ers decide to cut bait with Jimmy G. They only take a four million dollar cap hit. That's it, hmm. and they could pick up Tom Brady. Well, they could pick up anybody else. Tom. Yeah, they don't have to pick up Tom Brady, Tom Garbage Brady. How is Tom Brady garbage? Man had six Super Bowls. How is it garbage? Because and Bill took Belichick team, has six Super Bowls. And took, and took, a, team, Super and took a team See, with Bill, no... Bill Belichick got six Super Bowls. And took a team with no receivers that could get separation. 12 and 4 that, to that the playoffs. Dude, that, dude dinks, that dude dinks so many passes. Like, he just throws he no, so many five-yard passes. He only had... I'm sorry, he throws, he, I'm sorry, he's been throwing freedom. so many five-yard passes for the rest of his, for his whole life, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that he only had... Uh, this guy for one game, Antonio Brown for one game, and what he do uh, that one game threw him a twenty yard uh, touchdown pass. I'm sorry that oh, he only had oh, one twenty yards. Yeah, that was a, whoo, whoo. Yeah. yeah, twenty yards. Oh, that's, a, that's a doozy. It is a doozy. Twenty yard touchdown that's pass. A doozy. That's a lot of. That's a really good play right there. Really good play. It's more than five yards. More than five yards. Man, look, I, I don't know what you're talking about, about the Jimmy G contract, but I'm looking at it right here, and it's saying that, you know, Jimmy G signed a contract in 2018 right. of, of five years of $137 million. Yeah. For five years. Yeah. But the the way that the San Francisco um, designed his and thing. 48, 48 million of it is fully guaranteed. Yeah. He already, they already gave it to him. So, yeah, it's fully guaranteed. So no, they didn't give it to him, but he's gonna get it. No, he already got. It. He's gonna get it. He already got it. They gotta give it to him. Yeah. So, well, they got. It, they gave it to yeah, him. Yeah, they gave it to him. So, so now they're gonna waste. They, they can't waste money on another no, they quarterback. Could, they can't get Tom Brady. They can get out of it. Is what I'm telling you. This has already been uh-huh. reported on ESPN with Nick Wright and others. They can get out of it. Yeah, but why would you want to do it? To win now? Because why did they lose? Was it? Kyle yeah, but then you was it Jimmy G missing passes? Was Jimmy G missing passes? Yeah, you got that. So, all right, are we winning now? Are we winning later? I mean, he's twenty eight years old. He's still young, man. He's literally. I'm not like, saying none of that. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is, who do you years. think is better, Jimmy G, fifteen years younger, or Tom Brady? Almost 15 years younger, though. And who's better, I'm Jimmy just, G I'm just, or Tom Brady? I, how do you beat Patrick just, Mahomes? How you beat How you beat Patrick Mahomes? I'm just saying, man. I'm asking. He's 42 what? years old. How do you beat? Patrick? He's 42 years old. I hear you. He's gonna be 43 you, in August. How do you beat Patrick Mahomes? How do you beat Patrick Mahomes? Yes. A good defense. No, even better of a defense. No, no he had the number, they had like number two ranked defense, and the number one ranked defense couldn't make it to the Super Bowl. Man, so how do you well, maybe he home? should go there. This is all this is all hypotheticals. Of course, I'm not sure that they, that they really want to give up Jimmy G that early oh. in this. I think they they want to give it another chance, and I think they will give him. They'll give him another chance. I don't think they gave him that contract to just give up on him after making it to the Super Bowl. Because you you got to understand that the 49ers weren't winning any games before Jimmy G got there. Well, they could make, maybe win the Super Bowl with Tom Brady. That's all I'm saying. Maybe. maybe. All right. All maybe. Right. Off to the uh, NBA. But that would be nuts. 
Tom Brady goes to the freaking Cowboys. <laughs> that is just crazy. That would be that would just the NBA the NFL would be on another level. But <laughs> all right, let's go to um the NBA. All right. So who do you think is gonna come out from the East and West in conference conference in the NBA? Oh uh, man, personally I, I gotta say the Bucks for the East. I just think, you know, they, they just got so much momentum right now. Giannis he's a workout freak. Like he's just he's in his absolute prime right now. Well going into his prime. I think he's still got one more level to climb. You know, he starts getting that jumper going just a little bit more, get get a three popping, and he'd be good, man. He'd be all right. Yeah, man. So right now, the top five teams on the East are the Bucks. They're forty three and seven. That is amazing. Uh, the Raptors thirty seven and fourteen. Even after losing uh, Kawhi Leonard, they're they're not going anywhere, man. That is impressive to me. Uh, they got the Celtics thirty-five and fifteen after last year being like a dysfunctional organization or this dysfunctional team, but I should say. We have uh the Heat with thirty-four and sixteen with uh Jimmy Buckets. What's his last name? Um Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Buckets? Butler. Yeah. Jimmy Butler. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jimmy Butler leading the helm, man. 34 and 16. That is that is really good. Yeah, and you got the Pacers still in this, man. Yeah, 31 to 20. Oh, and by the way, the the Raptors are on a 12 win win streak. Man, the Raptors are on the tail, man. The Raptors are still a good team, man. <laughs> You're like a sleeper or something like that. that is crazy. All right, now for the Western Conference. I mean, I want to say, man. That the Raptors and the Bucks, man, they're looking good. But then, then the Heat are looking good too, man. Right in the Eastern, yeah. I, 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 I gotta go with the Bucks, man. The Bucks, you know, they, they were in it last year. You know, they were on pace to make it, and it's like, I think they can make it this year. I think they know what it, they know what it takes this year, mm-hmm. and I don't think they're gonna lose to Toronto without a Kawhi. Or, or or even a Boston oh, right now. We're gonna have to wait and see because, but it looks pretty good. I mean, I think this year's um, uh, uh, and Miami's not even a chance. I think the playoffs is gonna look real good for the Eastern Conference. I mean, the, no, it's definitely gonna be a good playoffs. Yeah, right. it's definitely gonna be a good playoffs. For sure. All right. Sure. So for the Western Conference, we have the Lakers at number one right now with thirty eight and eleven. We have the Clippers at number two. Impressive. Uh, 36 and 15. Uh, we got the Nuggets are 36 and 16. Uh, the Rockets are 32 and 18. And the Jazz, they are 32 and 18. Surprisingly, the Thunder are at six right now with 31 and 20. Yeah, no. What's really surprising me is how low Dallas is. I, I don't know, man. I, I thought they were going to be doing so much better with Perzingis and uh, Luka Doncic. That is true. But, um, right now, the the yeah. Dallas Mavericks are thirty one to twenty. Yeah, they're tied with uh, tied in sixth place with OKC. Yeah, but Luka's doing his thing. I don't know what's going on with uh, the the um this guy, the unicorn. Yeah, I mean, him. I don't know. Don't know, man. I, th- I thought I thought he was gonna have a breakout year coming coming back from his injuries and and being <laughs> really prepared for this year. I thought it was. Oh, that's really interesting. I really thought that he was gonna do something, but I mean, hey, they're still in it, sort of. Right, right, right. right. I mean, they're, yeah, no, they're they're still, home, it's the playoffs for the start now. They'd be in the playoffs right now. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And they're on a three game winning streak, so they're they're on a roll. What do you so, think of the you know they won that they won the eight out of their last ten games? What do you think of the Lakers being um number one? Who do you think is coming out of the um West? I, I gotta say the Lakers. I gotta say the Lakers, man. Lakers to me, the Lakers look to me like the bigger, tougher squad when it comes down to the crunch time. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I, I know Kawhi is Philly clutch, you know, the claw, but I, I just, I feel like when it comes down to clutch time, if we get AD the chance, he's, he's probably going to pull it off, man. Um, I might have to agree with you, man. I mean, I don't know what's going on with the Clippers, man, but they seem to be super injury prone, man. I don't get it. Either they're really injury prone or they're doing a hell of a job uh, <laughs> with all these uh, the games that they're taking off. You know what I'm saying? That they're, they're, their teams are taking off. Right. Their players right. are taking off, I should say. Right. No, they're, they're being smart about it. They're not just taking it off against, like, the, you know, the, the, the Lakers or something, but they're, you know, they're taking it off against good, good contests that they know they could still win. You know, they're being smart about it. Right. There's a lot of good games on today, just to mention that. I felt like I should mention. What, 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 games games on? On what game's on right now? Well, right now it's halftime of the 76ers and Bucks game. Okay. Uh, 51-54 Who's that? with the uh, Bucks winning. Okay. The Bucks are up right now. And uh, later on, we got the, uh, the Rockets the Rockets and the Lakers on TNT. Both games on TNT, 10-30. Um, I, I wish they would play those games earlier, man. I can't watch those games. Ten thirty start time, like, All right. who are we staying up to midnight? It's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's some pretty good games. Uh, Pelicans and the Bulls. That, that's a pretty good one too. Yeah, Orlando and New York. Nobody's really watching that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> just be, maybe maybe a few guys in New York. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, yeah. so let's talk about the NBA trades. Re- most recent NBA trade. Nice. Let's get it. So the Rockets did a crazy fourteen trade, and it's a twelve-player yeah, mega deal. So mm-hmm. they, it, it involves Clint Capella. This guy is as a walking fourteen, fourteen. Yeah. Yep. And the Rockets. I don't understand what they're doing, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. The tallest dude on their team is six <laughs> eight. I don't understand what they're doing. Uh, I, I really don't. Now they're running with a six eight team, and the tallest man on their team being six eight. Suppose and they have no hopes because the trade deadline is about to come, and I don't think they're making any more moves. Supposedly they were supposed to make some some more moves, but I guess they're gonna pick up some players. I guess from G League or I don't know. Practice squad. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They gotta. They gotta get some bigs, man. Because if they don't have anybody protecting the rim, I don't know how successful that approach will be. Then we have the Miami Heat's land the deal to get veteran Andre Ingadawa and the and the Garden. Golden State right. Warriors. Which is a good it's a good that's a good fit for him. You know, that that team in Miami is just all defense, man. Like yeah. super defensive orientated. And I just think that, you know, they're gonna be a tough team coming out. Like once once the playoff gets in and you know, you gotta see these guys every day. Well not every day, but every other day and you know, they they start learning you and you know, games are gonna start getting tight. It's gonna start getting real tight in the East Coast. Do you remember who the um GM for the Miami Heat is it's like at the tip of my tongue oh uh, <laughs> dang why can't I remember this right now either I know exactly what he looks like like I have his whole face right me too oh uh, yeah you said uh, closer to Rick uh, no yeah I, I, uh, oh my Atlanta <laughs> Uh, anyway, he's doing some. Yo, he 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 he's a really good GM, man. He's a really no, he's awesome. awesome. All right, awesome. so then we have Golden State Warriors and the Minnesota Timberwolves actually do a swap. D'Angelo Russell, which they just got the guy this offseason, you know, and they're gonna trade him for Andre Wiggins, Pat Riley, Pat Riley. That's what it was. Pat Wilder. He's a really good GM. I mean, and it's Florida, too, brother. And Andre Godal, he was right. He's off. a president of, uh, of the Miami basketball team. He was, um, Andre Godal was on the Grizzlies, yeah? 
Andre Iguodala. Yeah, yeah. That's right. where uh, he's getting into all that stuff with Morant and yeah. Right. So, like, come on. What? What? what where would? You, where would you? Where would you like to play, man? In Memphis or in Miami Beach, Florida, baby? Well, well, it was reported that he uh, he actually asked to not not be traded. He gave a list of places that he would go to. And if he didn't go to any of those places, he was actually going to quit. He was going to retire from the league. Hey, man. Which I, I get it, too. Me hey, too. you know, once you get to a certain age, you got enough rings. Yep. What are you doing it for? You know what I mean? I'm not going to go and go live in Minnesota or somewhere weird just so I can get a check. You know what I mean? It's right. not about the money anymore for Eagle Dollar. He made enough money with his uh, – he, he had a nice uh, book that he came out with. And um, yeah, he made, he sold a lot with that too. So it's not it's not really about the money with him. I totally agree with that. Plus, it's Miami, so oh, nobody nobody. <laughs> so and plus, it's Miami. That's right. But what do you think of D'Angelo South Russell East. for Andre Wiggins? Um, I think it's it sucks for D'Angelo Russell because I'm like, dang, you know, it, it, he it, it, the bad thing about it is like he, he's almost like getting punished for being too good. And he's he's so good that people are using him around as bargaining chips because they're like, no, he's a really good player, but he's not a good fit or he's just it will be a better fit on a different team or something. And he's just getting moved around. But I don't know. It's, I think the minute he finds his team and the, the proper team for him, I'm not too sure if this if the Timberwolves is way, it's a, you know, it's a good fit for him. But I know um, the Warriors could definitely use a uh, 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 small forward like uh, Wiggins for sure with the loss of Durant and... right so including in this deal the Warriors also get a 2021 top 3 projected first round draft pick and a 2021 20, yeah. second round pick and we'll send Jacobs, Jacob Evans, and Omari Spellman to the Timberwolves. So I mean, dang. All right, so you know, hold on. So you know, they came up off the deal. They come up off the deal. So I mean, so I guess the Timberwolves, Timberwolves get two more players, and mm-hmm. but they give up two picks. Yeah, so they get two. So they, so the Timberwolves get three players. They get D'Angelo Russell, Jacob Evans, and Omari Spellman. And all that the Timberwolves had to give up was on, on Andrew Wiggins and a first-round draft pick and the 2021 first-round draft pick and 2021 second-round draft pick. I'm sorry. So two draft picks and Andre Wiggins. That's right. Andrew Wiggins, I'm sorry. Hmm. What do you think about that deal? I think it was, you know, like if I had to say who won the deal and who lost the deal, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have to say that the Warriors won that deal. Getting those that first round draft pick is really key for them right now. You know, if they can get a, a shooting big man off of that to pair with Clay and 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 um, Steph, it'd be great. And now they got uh, another another man that can play the wing with Wiggins. You know what I'm saying, you know, if they get another big man with the draft uh, next year. Yeah, you know, I, I think Golden State ain't really doing much this year, so you know they're just chalking it up for next year's draft pick and then build from there. Andre Wiggins, I think that's a really good, good move. All right, so we got the Clippers and the Knicks over here, and the Wizards all agreed to a three-team trade that will send Marcus Morris and Isaiah Thomas Morris, man. to the Clippers. Interesting. And Jerome Robinson will join the Wizards. And the Knicks will receive Mo Harkless and a 20. Oh, this 2020 first round draft pick. That's not that bad. I mean, man. Um, the Knicks are clearly, clearly real bit rebuilding off the draft. That is. Yeah. They've been doing that for years. But you know what? What? I said no. They've been doing that for years, but you know what? It's 
it's it's the same Knicks mo. You can just chalk it up to just that's what the Knicks do. <laughs> they just they they look like they're tanking, and no, then they go and they make dumb trades and dumb uh, free agent signings where they spend and they, and acquire guys for long contracts for really expensive deals. It's ridiculous, but yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not really too fond of the Knicks, but. I yeah, no, I don't know why I, I, you grew up over there, but okay. Yeah, no, I'm not. not never, never in my lifetime had the Knicks been ever good. <laughs> what, what's your basketball team? I really don't have a basketball team, to be honest with you. I just really like players, and whatever team has the player I favor the most or like the most, that's the team I usually root for. Oh, nice. Yeah, because they break my heart. I oh, don't like the Patriots for the last 20 years. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we got the Cleveland and the Pistons. So check this out. Yeah, it's, has it's, finalized uh, Andre Drummond. A deal for Andre Drummond. Nice. Andre Drummond is a two-time All-Star, but has an opt-out in his contract next season. So, sources say that Uh, uh, the Pistons will get John Hansen and Brandon Knight in the second round draft pick in 2023. Not too sure how Brandon Knight, how well Brandon Knight's playing out there nowadays, but he should be a pretty decent player, like a nice like uh, B minus C plus player. Yeah, the Andre. I mean Andre Drummond. Damn, that's that guy's that yeah, guy's a beast. But I, that's also a big contract, though. You got to think, uh, big money contract you're giving up right, right there. You're getting that off. Yeah. So, what the Miami Heat had to agree to on this trade, right? They had to give, um, they had to trade Dion Waiters, Justice Winslow, and James Johnson to the Memphis Grizzlies I'm not, for, for I honestly, Andre Iguodala, <laughs> so Solomon Hill, and Jay Crowder. Um, the Timberwolves later joined the deal, acquiring Johnson for, from the Grizzlies in exchange for Sender. What? Dang? Oh, Gorgie Dang. I don't even know how to say mm-hmm. that. I, I don't know how to say it. Gorgie Dong. Dong. Ooh, and then check this out. Just like you said before, man. Yo, now yeah. he is Andre Iguodala going to get traded to Miami, but he also agreed to a two-year deal for thirty million dollars. Man, you're going to get thirty million dollars in Florida, in Miami, Florida. Come on, I mean, living it good. up. Good life is good for Andre Iguodala right now. Yeah, definitely, man. All right, Clint yeah. Capella. Let's see. Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. Houston Rockets acquire Minnesota Timberwolves Robert Covington and trade traded center Clint Capella to the Hawks. So Clint Capella is going to the Hawks. Yes. Um, went to the Hawks for uh, Covington, right? And they're getting Covington. Yeah. Yep. And then Timberwolves acquired two round, two first round picks, including. Houston's 2020 pick, which they will move on to the Nuggets for guard Malik Beasley. Oh, and for and, uh, Juan, what the hell? Her Nan Gorman, Her, Her, Herning Gas, Herning Gas, Herning Gas. Okay, <laughs> you need to change that last name, Gomez or Herman Gomez. But yeah, man, what do you think of that? I didn't think Clint Capella would go to the Hawks. I mean, I mean, I didn't think the, the Rockets wanted to, you know, run a six eighteen, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. I uh, obviously, like we, you said earlier, they might be picking up someone else. But uh, um, for Atlanta, it's a good look. You know, I think I think they they got. I think the best thing that ever happened to anyone in this in, in any of these trades. Is freaking out going to Miami? <laughs> he's gonna be with, he's gonna be with Jimmy Butler, 
and with thirty million dollars in Miami, <laughs> that's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be good, and they're yeah. already a- yeah. And 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 he went with Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder's pretty good, man. And Solomon Hill is a pretty good three point shooter too. Pretty All good right. people. Pretty good. Uh, last, team. We have five minutes, uh, fifty nine minutes, and right now twenty seconds. So that will be mm-hmm. our show for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. We will come back to give you more information. Mike, how do you think the show went today? Yeah, man, I think we're pretty smooth. I mean, we want to definitely upgrade and probably do some music here and there. And, you know, once we get better at this, I promise, man, we this will get a lot more unified <laughs> and a lot more uh, on schedule with each other. And, uh, you know, we can get a better format and how we're doing things. All right. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun today. Well, check us out next time on Draft Nights, baby. So, everyone have a great night Peace. and enjoy the rest of your shows. Peace.